This is Eric Kastner, Technical Service Manager for FMC out of Weatherford, Texas. Today, I'm just outside of Corpus Christi, Texas, and have been down this way for the last couple of days scouting for bollworms and BT traded cotton, and specifically making recommendations for Prevathon insect control. I thought today it'd be very timely to share not only label recommendations, but some tips for not only maximizing the performance of Prevathon in BT traded cotton, but also just maximizing cotton yields, which ultimately that's what it's about, is maximizing yields and some of the remarkable cotton genetics that we have today. As I step into this field and other fields, the first thing that I like to assess and kind of the overarching philosophy that I have is use of integrated pest management. I wanna use everything to my advantage to manage insect pests and cotton. And one of the biggest uh, tools that I have is beneficial insects. And over the last few days, I've walked through these fields, I've seen a whole array of beneficial insects from lacewings to lady beetle larvae, pirate bugs, parasitic wasps, and that's just to name a few. Those are tremendous tools in managing insect pests in cotton. And so you don't wanna do anything to disrupt the beneficial insect populations in these cotton fields. And so that's with Prevathon insect control, the beauty of Prevathon is you're able to make a strategic strike on bollworm with minimal impact on beneficial insects. You know, those products that do impact beneficial insects, and sometimes we have to use those, oftentimes 10 days, two weeks down the road, we've, we've created another problem. And oftentimes that's aphids, and, and that requires you know, a follow-up treatment and follow-up expense. So the, mo the more we can manage and use beneficials to our advantage and make strategic strikes, ease in and ease out of these fields, the better off that we are. The next thing I'd like to talk about is thresholds. But before I get into that, um, you're gonna hear me talk about a 20% egg threshold on BT2 cotton, which is unique. But I wanna talk about the uniqueness of Prevathon that allows us to do that. Because if you look at other insecticide recommendations from the universities, very few are on egg thresholds. That goes back just to the characteristic of Prevathon and the long residual control, extended residual control up to 21 days. And by doing that, that gives us the flexibility and the peace of mind to be able to treat on an egg threshold rather than go through this field and scout for damage. And, and so by doing that, it not only allows you to get ahead of the pest and minimize damage, but uh, there's an element to being able to sleep good at night to know that you've got the extended residual and you're ahead of the pest that's getting ready to attack your crop. Uh, the threshold on BT cotton is 20% eggs, and it's pretty much accepted across the cotton belt. And that means that 20 plants out of 100 have at least one cotton bollworm egg on them, and that triggers the application. When you go to three gene cotton, which is new in the last couple of years, then uh, the threshold, there's a little bit more debate there, and, and it's more of a damage threshold than universities and here in Texas. The Texas A&M recommends a 6% damage. Uh, and gets away from the egg threshold. What we've seen in this area last year, we did demonstrations under heavy pressure with extended egg lays. We saw a return on investment by spraying Prevathon on three gene cotton. So my encouragement there is to continue scouting. And if you get into an extended egg lay or heavy egg lay, heavy egg, egg populations and worm populations, I would say that Prevathon can benefit and provide a return on the investment. The other thing that we'll talk about is rate. Uh, the rate range on the Prevathon label goes from 14 to 20 ounces. You're gonna hear FMC talk 20 ounces, and that's not just to go to the maximum side of the label, it gets back to the residual component. 20, 20 ounces of Prevathon provides up to 21 days of protection for cotton bollworm. And so that's very important because an egg lay with cotton, a, a bollworm moth is not laying on a specific day. There's an, a period of where eggs are laid and oftentimes in this part of, the, of Texas, it can be extended. So you need extended residual control rather than a short residual product uh, to provide control across that egg lay. And you also see that within the rate range of Prevathon, 20 ounces gives significantly more residual than 14 ounces. So if you're gonna spend the investment to go across the field with application, uh, we've seen it pay off year in and year out with the 20 ounce rate. I guess the, the other factor that I would like to just to introduce today and just make sure we've got in front of you is application. Our labels say two gallons, a minimum of two gallons by air. Of, of water volume, carrier volume, and 10 gallons by ground. And 
it's very critical for coverage. And if you look at this field I'm in here now, it's very lush, the middles have lapped. And so when you start thinking about where bowworms are laying their eggs, they're not only just laying up in the terminals, they're laying down in the canopy, on bloom tags, and throughout the plant. So it's important to get the material down to the pest and get residual protection all the way through the canopy and not just up in the top. So my recommendation there is to evaluate. Look at your nozzle selection, your droplet size, your carrier volume, and even adjuvants can help in deposition and getting the, the, the uh, Prevathon down into the canopy. And adjuvants can also help in where we have showers like we did here yesterday in wash-up events. So it's kind of to wrap it up and just some kind of some quick hitting thoughts. First, IPM, always think IPM and use beneficial insects to your advantage. Prevathon definitely does that, does not, uh, has minimal in impact on, on beneficial insects. Remember your thresholds, that 20% egg, egg threshold gives you that peace of mind and being able to treat and uh, relax a little bit and let the Prevathon take care of things up to 21 days with 20 ounces of, of Prevathon. And then the final thing is coverage. We can do everything right, but if we don't make a good application, we're, gonna, it, we're just not gonna maximize performance. So I would encourage you to think about these four things, beneficial insects, your thresholds, your coverage, and your Prevathon rate. And then once all of those come together, you should be very successful with your application with Prevathon and ultimately have the return on investment that we're looking for.